Hey guys, welcome again to FM Driving School, your fully qualified driving instructor. That's right, fully qualified driving instructor who's been driving since 17 years old. Now, you're going to see in this clip, I didn't edit it out. I left it in the clip for you guys to see my dumb mistake, the dumbest mistake a driving instructor can make. I'm going to publicly humiliate myself by leaving the clip in unedited. So watch all of it. We're going to show you how to fix yourself from the mistakes as well. Um, you're probably going to ask the question, which is a question I ask myself every single day of my life for the last 10 years or so. Mate, are you sure you're a driving instructor? Are you sure you know what you're doing? Are you sure you know how you're teaching? No, guys, I'm not blagging it. I am fully qualified. So please, please don't run away. Please don't um, stop calling me up for driving lessons. But anyway, let's go to the clip. We're going to show you a bit of a mock test. And we're going to just cut out the scenes where it's dragging up for too long. Long, empty rows. You guys don't want to see that. But other than that, watch it, watch how I'm driving, watch the mistakes that I make and how I correct my mistakes as well as watching what you need to be doing when you're driving, what you're looking out for. Okay, back to the test. Looking ahead, we can see the bus. Check my mirror's interior, right? Bus is indicating it's their priority, slow down slightly. I'm in gear three, shall I go to gear two? The car can just about handle it, so I'm gonna stay in gear three. Check my mirrors. Clutch goes down, keep braking. And we're gonna go to gear one. Handbrake up. No, no, your eyes didn't deceive you. I actually stalled here. Your driving instructor, fully qualified driving instructor, been driving since 17 years old. And I'm gonna put it down to the fact that I'm half asleep. Um, let's let's make an excuse. So I didn't go into neutral properly. That's why in your test don't go to neutral. Stay in gear one. And I stole. Look at that. Look at that jump of the car. And then I have to restart. There you go. Restart in the car. What a muppet. Do you understand the fact that stalling is not an automatic failure depending on how you react to the stall and where you stall. So I stalled behind the traffic lights. Hamburg was already up so I didn't roll back. I just put the clutch down, reset the car. It was completely safe. Um, and one more thing, sorry. You can actually be neutral, sorry, when you're in the traffic lights. Um, but we don't advise our learners, especially if you're fairly inexperienced. Um, because we want to, you to be in gear one and ready to go at the biting point. Okay, uh, and look far ahead, what can you see? Give way sign, therefore we don't have the priority. Break. Check over my shoulder, I'm in gear two. Keep looking, lean forward if you have to. There we go. Up to gear three. So the examiner may ask you to do one show me, tell me question as you're driving. So they may ask you to put your windows down for example, do it when you feel safe. Um, like this uh, straight road right now. Don't do it while you're turning. So for example, there's the windows. Put it back up. Okay. Check my mirrors so I can overtake the bus. Interior left so I can move back in. I'm in gear three. Well, it's just about wide enough so the car can handle the power. And if you couldn't, you go back down to gear two. I'm going to turn left at the roundabout up ahead. Start braking a little bit. There you go. There's a roundabout. Watch out for the traffic lights as well. Watch out for that learner. Interior left. Indicate. Anybody on the roundabout indicating? It doesn't look like it, so we should have the priority. Go down to gear two, double check that roundabout. No one's indicating. Now I'm gonna go. Check my mirrors. Cool. Oh. 
So we're just gonna delay the indicator until it passes road, interior right, indicate, cross road. Look, I can see arrows on the floor, so I'm gonna ooh, break, clutch down, and I'm gonna stop. All right. So I felt that it was safe enough to stop without being too sudden. It was slightly sudden, but safe to have stopped. That's the reason why I stopped. Um, again, you can see how we're multitasking quite quite a lot. I'm looking far ahead. I'm looking at the the arrow on the floor. I'm looking at the crossroad. I'm looking to see that, like, for example, this bus is going left, but what if the bus was going straight? Therefore, I would have to wait at the arrow. And then the lights changing on top of that. You can see as a learner driver, so many things happening and you have to be able to multitask within a few seconds. Okay. Gear two, I can see it's clear. We're taking the third exit on the roundabout. There's a bus in the way anyway, so double check that right mirror and stick to the right lane. Going up to gear three, third exit. Watch out for this bus, where's the indicating? Interior right, indicate. Break, clutch down, go down to gear two. This time around I feel like I was a bit too fast and if I was to break it would have okay. been slightly sudden with the cars behind. One, it two. was safer to have gone. Interior left, indicate. And move in. Now interior left, leave the indicator back on and move back into the left lane. Up to gear three, cancel the indicator. So that time the amber, um, I was slightly bit too fast and it was safer for me to have gone. That's the reason why I left. Okay. 40 miles an hour zone. I'm in gear four now. Coming off this exit and then hopefully taking the third exit. Interior left, indicate. Taking the third exit. So, Hanworth, yeah. Interior right, let's get into the right lane. Here again, I made another minor fault. I forgot Break. to put the indicator back on. I should Cross have left it on. Two. I don't know why I cancelled it. And luckily for me, I've indicated it. just in time. Gear one, now that car's moved off, so we can move. Clear on my right. Indicate back on. Count the exits one, two. Now check my left mirror. Indicate left. And move across. Up to gear three, we're just gonna come off this slip road. So we're gonna stick to this lane. You can see 20 miles an hour zone. Why can you we're going straight? Look at the arrows on the floor. Quite late it came across. There's giveaway signs on the floor, so I'm going to wait and I'm going to check. Very easy to have missed those arrows and to have gone through the giveaway line. Um, but if you see giveaway lines, always um, slow down, check left and right, give priority to the road in front of you. There's a roundabout, we're going straight, that car's going right. Had we been closer, we would have to wait for him. Okay, brake a little bit so you can scan on the right. And it's clear, I stayed in gear two. And we can go, check your mirrors. Again, a bus, and let's see if there's any parked cars. Let me go up to gear three, 20 miles an hour zone. So we're going towards Twickenham, 20 miles an hour zone. Can't really see on the right because of this um, pub. So he's, he's gonna, it's gonna block my vision. As I get there, I'm just gonna brake, go down to gear two, scan on the right, I'm quite slow. It's clear, it's opened up, I can see. 
and it's clear to go. Zebra crossing, scan, check all my mirrors, watch out for the car to cut in before me. Yep. 20 miles an hour zone still. So there was a quite tricky situation because you had a little roundabout, then straight after the roundabout you had a zebra crossing to deal with. As you can see, when you're learning to drive, once you get into that car, you shut the door and you turn the engine on, put your seat on. It's not just about controlling the car. I've got full control of the car. I know how to use my feet, my clutch control. I know the rules of the road. It's about the split second decision making skills. Now, as an experienced driver, we, we're able to see things, spot things. We might miss things, of course, but we're able to also react to things within a split second. A, a learner will take a few seconds to see it, then a few seconds to react to it, and etc. So, and when we're teaching our students, we're trying to cut that uh, those seconds down to split seconds decisions. When you're able to make uh, decisions quite quickly, fairly quickly, within a few seconds, you know you're going somewhere. You know you're going to be ready for the test soon. If you're missing things, missing um, hazards, ob obstacles, obstructions, not able to do or multitask with um, the layer of the rows, then you know, okay, you still got a bit of work to do. Indicator because of this road, indicator right now, brake, brake, clutch goes down, going to gear one from three, I'm just going to go to gear one straight away. You want to see the bottom of his tyres, that's how you know how close you should be to the car. It's called tyres and tarmac. So you want to see the bottom of the tyres and a little bit of the road. Gear 1, check your mirrors quickly. Up to gear 2, before the turn. Push and pull technique with your steering wheel. And then push and pull back. Stay correctly at all times. Going left at the roundabout. Interior left. Indicate 6 to 8 cars length. Let's indicate about now. Okay, green light, I'm in gear 2. I'm going to try and go. Break a little bit because it's a bit tight. Double check the right, red light up ahead. Brake, clutch goes down, going to gear one. And the car should go, and we're gonna go. Check your mirrors, up to gear two. Gradually build, build up your speed. We can see 40 miles an hour. Gear four, going straight at the next roundabout, second exit. Start braking, looking at the right, brake more, clutch goes down, going on to gear two from four, I'm going to gear two, looking right, looking ahead, looking right and ahead, and it's clear to go. Following the shape of the roundabout, not need to indicate, check my mirrors, interior left, you can indicate now, and then once you're in, make sure you cancel the indicator. It's come off automatically, it's fine, check your mirrors. Up to gear three, speed, Get your uh, speed up to 40, up to gear 4, check your mirrors. Second exit again. I can see far ahead uh, red traffic lights and a bit of traffic behind it. So I'm going to ease off the gas slightly. Down to about 30 miles an hour right now. Braking even more, 20 miles an hour. And about 15, going down to gear 2 for a little bit. Ray, clutch goes down. Let me stop a little bit further back for the truck because his vision is going to be a bit more restricted. Check your mirrors. Up to gear two. Second exit. Let me look at the signs on the floor um, indicating to the correct lane. Let's see. We can go straight from this uh, lane. So we're going to go straight. Second exit. interior left you don't have to indicate you can you don't have to so back there we showed you one where we indicated and this one and uh, without indicating check your mirrors up to gear three watch out for any cars to cut in you can see this uh, range rover 
No, he didn't cut in. We're fine. Up to gear four. We're above 30 miles an hour. I can't go too fast because there's not enough space. So I'm going to keep this nice little gap. I'm about 35 miles an hour right now. Forty. So now, hopefully the truck can speed up. Still about 35, 38. If I went 40, let me go a bit faster. Let me go up to 40. And let me show you what's happening if I go up to 40. So now I'm getting a bit too close to him. I'm way too close now. So now as a student, you could argue by it's 40 miles an hour zone. I want to maintain the speed limit but you have to do what's safe at the same time and the distance is too close remember the two second rule so I'm going to start braking now and giving myself a nice little gap the two second rule only a full breaks the two second rule so let's see there's a lamppost he's going past only a full breaks the two second rule so we're, we're in time oh look at this car come on my brother Silly guy. So now I'm gonna brake. Okay. So I'm very frustrating when a car cuts you in like that. I mean, what, what use is it indicate if you're gonna cut in? So it's lucky I didn't get out of the car and slap him up, but anyway, brake, clutch goes down, go up to gear three. Let's go. So as a learner driver, unfortunately, if that's your test, now you have to react to him and start braking. So we're on camera, not going to start swearing, stay composed, stay calm, even if you're not in camera. Uh, road rage doesn't really bring about any results. Brake, clutch goes down, go to gear one, brake. But the reason why it's frustrating, especially as a teacher, if that's my student, um, of course it's going to affect them, they're going to be very worried, the car's just cutting in a lesson, uh, maybe they're not experienced enough to deal with such bad drivers. So as a teacher we take it more to heart, like why are you driving like this, can you not see where learners? But anyway, stay calm, stay composed. Uh, go up to gear two. And what's worse, you can see it's got kids at the back of this car. Okay. Up to gear three. Going straight for now. Looking far ahead. I can see two buses up ahead. You can see a bus stop. Again, I want to keep my nice gap. Why is that van moving across? There must be a reason why. Let's see why. There's a parked van. Check my mirrors. And they're moving safely. Going down to gear too because the car's struggling. So notice how I saw a van move across, or that truck, sorry, move across. That was a hint to me that something might be in the way. Why would he just move across for no reason? Check my mirrors, interior left, indicate. So and up to gear three. Okay, so we're just gonna end it there, but before we go into analyzing the clip itself, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click the button for the latest videos. Now, let's quickly just talk about a few mistakes or a few things I noticed in the clip. One was just recently where the truck moved lanes. So if you just replay it back, you'll see the truck moving lanes. Now, I was a couple of cars behind and I was trying to figure out why did he do that. Now, the first uh, first thought that went through my mind was maybe there's an obstruction in front of him and that's the reason why they moved to the right. And as it so happened, it, there was an obstruction. So, when you're driving, notice other drivers. What are they doing? Why are they doing certain things? And maybe that's a hint to you that there's something happening on the road. What else happened? There was a car, um, he cut us in quite badly, in fact, um, you know, that could cause an accident, really bad driver. Now, as a learner driver, you just have to react to it by just easing off the gas or even braking just to give yourself the space between you and the car in front. You also saw me, um, so I indicated right to move lanes, and then we were fairly close to the roundabout itself, so... 
I should have left the indicator on, but I've cancelled it by mistake. Now, as I go to the roundabout, um, I, I, I did hear it that I did I couldn't hear the clicking noise. So for me, that was a hint that okay, maybe the indicator is not on, and I quickly put it back on in time. As long as you put it back on in time, which I did, it was literally at the last second of the roundabout. Um, you would get probably a minor fault. The longer you leave it. Um, as in the later you indicate it, so you went past the first exit and now you've indicated, by then it now becomes a major for a serious for you would fail your test on that particular mistake. And then finally, um, which I really don't want to mention, but we had the incident where I've stolen the car. Yes, your driving instructor stole the car. Um, I'm just going to click my fingers and it's disappeared it didn't happen but if you the learner driver do stole your car the main thing is how do you react to the situation first is brake clutch down you can either leave the clutch down and then restart the car or you go back to neutral and restart the car if you're on a hill make sure you put the handbrake up so the key is reacting to your mistakes make sure you're safe Anyway guys, that was one slightly bit of a mock test. Do watch our other clips. Um, watch the clips as well where we teach you how to drive and also doing mock tests with our students. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.